I had the strangest dream last night. I dreamt my, my guitar, guitar was floating down I want to tell you what I already did to this guitar right now to get the nut and saddle started. I did install a nut that I had uh, laying around that seems to be a good fit and I have a saddle in here that is just perfectly flat. I just have it to size to fit in the slot. So, First thing I think I want to do is take off the strings, put the radius of the fretboard on the top of this saddle here, because right now it's just perfectly flat. Once I get that, I'll file the nut, <laughs> if you will. I have you know. Does anybody know what I have you know means? Believe you me. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I'll be back. <laughs> Where's your leg? What happened? You're probably asking yourself, why did he take all the strings off it? Why the hell did he take the bridge pins out and undo all the strings? You could do this all with the strings on it. But I didn't open up these relief slots deep enough to get enough uh, 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 what's it called? Just cleaning off any burrs with a little round file. So the first thing I want to do is get this nut, I'm sorry, get this saddle radius the same as the fretboard. I have this gauge that says it's 10 inch radius, so I want to transfer that onto this saddle and then I'll take it over to my belt sander and rough it out to that radius Best way to check and hold it up to a light with the light behind it. You can see that any gaps. It's getting rid of some of the sharpness. You don't want it sharp. Now I'm good to get it strung up. The saddle is a little bit on the low side. I, I, I know it's going to need to be low, but I hope I'm not already too low. We'll see. I got to take my pooch outside. She wants to go for a little walk. So I'm going to string this up, take her for a walk, and then I'll come back and do some more. Okay, come on. It's so dark out here. All right, let's get back inside.
Okay, with it to full pitch, first thing I want to do is start working on this nut down here. I'll show you how to adjust that and get that perfect. So actually in second thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a night. It's kind of late. I'm going to come back in the morning and work on this nut and work on the nut. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm ready to work on this nut. Let me just show you what's going on with it right now and what I plan to do. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Okay, so you can see if what I do is I push on the third fret, push down on it. And I want just a little clearance over this first fret. You can see I gotta push it quite a ways to get it down there. So I'm gonna file this at, in every slot till I get just a little clearance here. Just like uh, four or five thousandths, just a little slight clearance over that first fret. You want to angle the file the same angle as the headstock and you want to aim it towards the tuner on the inside of the tuner that's what you're aiming for just putting a little relief on the back checking still a little bit high so I'll take a little bit more off it's getting there it's almost there I just want to make sure you have enough relief on the back side. You want to have clearance all behind the nut. You just want to have the very front of the nut be where the string is touching. You don't want to have any lag behind the string. That's much better. Now if I were to check that, the feeler gauge. I think I want to set this to about 18 thousandths without any pressure being put on the string, just in, in its relaxed state. So let me, let me pull up an 18 and see how that looks. That's pretty good. It's probably about 20 or 21. So let me do a little bit more filing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same procedure to all these um, slots here. And I'll show you what that looks like in fast motion.
the 18. Still can come down a little bit more. Oh, broke a string. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna just give it a little file like I was going to. Just gotta come down a few thousands. Okay, so I got the string replaced and the nut is filed down. It's pretty close. I still have to get the top surface. The string height is pretty much within a few thousands. I'll make some fine adjustments a little later after I file that. Um, but I wanna check the action at the 12th fret so I can see how much I need to take off the saddle. Just looking at the 12th fret on the base side. Pretty good right there. About a hundred thousandths. About two and a half millimeters. And on the treble side, pretty, pretty close. Maybe slightly, slightly more. But I would let's see. Let's try and. Let's go up four thousandths. Yeah, I would say it's probably two hundred and two thousandths, just slightly, slightly higher. So, one hundred and two and a hundred. I want to get it down to um, ninety on the base, and about eighty. 85 on the treble. I think that's where I want to be with this guitar. Um, let me check the straightness of the fingerboard. I, think I did check this a minute ago and it was, it's got a, it's got a slight, it's pretty flat actually. There's not a lot of relief on it. I'm gonna check it at, on the frets. Actually there's a little, there's a little back bow. Wow. One side to from the treble to the bass. It's, it's different. It's got a high spot in the center or it's got a little bit of a back bow right from about here. I'll check the truss rod. See if I have a lot of tension on that. Okay, after checking the truss rod, it wasn't too tight. Uh, it's just basically, I backed it off a little bit. But what I'm discovering is, I have capo on the first fret. Checking the relief on this fingerboard, there's, there's almost no relief. If there's three thousands, it's, it's a lot. So there's definitely a back bow situation going on with this, um, which could be corrected subtly, maybe. Um, but it does kind of affect how high I have this action. So right now I'm at 100 and 100. So I think I wanna to try to bring it down just a little bit. Get the saddle brought down so basically the way that it works is for every thousands of an inch I want to take off the action here at the 12th fret I have to double it here on the nut so if I want to come down ten thousandths I need to come down 20 here and if I'm coming down 15 here I need to come down 30 here so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it down. Okay, so the way that I do this, so I want to take, here's the, the base side and the treble. Let's put a little magic marker and I'm going to set this for the base side at 20,000. So I set my caliper to 20,000. 
On the treble side, I want to be 40 thousandths. Same thing. Scribe a line. So now I do, I just scratch a line connecting these two points, take it over to the belt sander and or hand file it, whatever, just to get it to, so you can just see that. I'm gonna draw with a pencil, just see the pencil line. Okay, so I got it down to the right thickness on the belt sander. It's pretty close to the pencil line that I drew. I'm just gonna finish it off on some sandpaper. Okay, so now I got the saddle back in there. Just checking the string height, the 12th fret. Now, let's see where we ended up. Where's my calipers? So it's about 95 on the base. And it's a little different than what I wanted. I wanted about 90. I was probably a little conservative with how much I took off. And on the treble, I'm, I'm about, I'm nine thousandths lower. I'm 87. So I'm 87 and 95. And it seems to play pretty nice. Intonation seems good. So now I got to get the nut. It's just high. You can see those strings are buried in the nut. So I'll take those down. In theory, on the low strings, they're gonna sit about halfway in the slot. And on the high strings, I'll have them so they're, they're buried about the thickness of the string. And I'll file that down now, I'll polish it all up. And then I'm gonna put the pick guards on it and call this puppy done. Okay, here's the pick guards. And they could use a little cleaning up. I think gotta take the glue off the back. If I can even get that off of there. Hopefully that is glue, I'm not sure. Try some, try the scraper. some gummy stuff. I may want to try and put, put a solvent on that or some hot water or something. I don't want to mess these things up though. All right, let me see what I got to do to clean that up. Okay. I think this seems to work. I just put some naphtha on it. Let it sit there a couple seconds. seems to come off. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go ahead, I'll clean up the front too, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mount them on the guitar. Okay, just to show you where I am, I have one pick guard mounted, and I'm just mounting it with this double face tape.
it's super sticky so you want to make sure you're you got it lined up just right and I want to make sure this is a double pick guard so obviously I have to make sure the top and bottom line up it looks like I'm going right up against the fretboard doing this by eye so don't have a lot of flexibility once you get it down once you put it there you're committed okay that's it. I don't know how to say it. It's not over. It ain't over till it's over. The neck is still a little bit of a back bow. So that's going to be another project, another video, I'm sure. But that's it for this video. Thank you.